Ah, fish. I'm sure by now you will recognize this browser benchmark. I've used it many times before. Uh, you'll be glad to hear today I'm only going to start with the fishy benchmark, just to show you where all three of the major browsers now are. Uh, in the top left we have Firefox. Uh, it's beta 7, so it's the latest stable build, not the nightly build. Uh, I've tried the nightly build, and it's very, very similar. Uh, in the top right corner we have the leaked version of IE9 Beta 2, uh, it's a bit faster than Beta 1. And in the bottom left we have a, a month old version of Chrome 9. Uh, I wanted to use a more recent version, but it didn't seem to work. I just got a black screen uh, with GPU rendering enabled. Uh, and in the bottom right corner you have a graph showing you my CPU. Uh, as always, there will be people that complain that it isn't fair to run all three at the same time, uh, but I've run these tests with each browser individually, uh, and the results are pretty even. Uh, I'm guessing the Windows 7 kernel timing thingamajig is pretty good. Um, they do take a bit of a hit, likewise just recording the screen, uh, they will take a bit of a hit, but they will take an equal hit, so for comparative purposes it's still fair. Anyway, as you can see, IE9 is definitely the winner of the fishy test, um, but they're all pretty close. Uh, let's try some more interesting or newer tests. I love the fact that they've put in a special banner for Chrome users. Okay, let's do something else. Let's start with some Sudoku. We'll run this one at a time, so it's uh, pretty fair. What it does is it solves some Sudoku puzzles using JavaScript. I can read it through if you like. In this demo, we take the well-known game of Sudoku, or Sudoku, and demonstrate how developers can use HTML5 and JavaScript to create an efficient algorithm to solve these puzzles. These algorithms draw heavily from the Chakra Engine support for ECMA Script 5 standard array operations to rapidly solve many Sudoku games. Thrilling. Anyway, so IE9 is in 5.6 seconds. Firefox 4 is faster than IE9, even though it has the fancy ECMA thing. And Chrome 9. What are you going to clock in at? Ooh, well, Chrome's the winner there. Let's go back a bit. Let's try Shakespeare's Tag Club. Is it me, or does it look slightly more yellow in Chrome? No, my eyes are just screwing up. Okay, let's do some Cymbeline. Oop, 44 milliseconds. That's for IE9. Firefox, what are you going to come in at? 17. Cymbeline, 20. Should we just run it again one more time? 44 for IE9, it's pretty static, 18, well the Firefox is the winner there, maybe, why has IE9 included tests that it isn't the winner of, maybe it's being fair, maybe Microsoft is actually being fair, unlike Chrome and it's crappy HTML5 rocks bullshit, anyway, um, what should we do now, can we do speed reading? I don't think this displays very well. Oh, we can do this one at a time. Okay. So here we go. Speed reading in IE9. I don't actually know what this tests, but it looks pretty cool. You see the web 2.0 reflections at the bottom? Ooh, seven seconds. Okay. Let's try it in another. This is Firefox. a feeling this is going to be slower. It's got a different blur to the letters. I hope you can see this on the video. It feels a bit less sharp. I'm not sure. You can almost read it. It's so, f well, not as fast. Hmm. I think IE9 is winning. Honestly, I have no idea how this has a real-world application. So I don't know if I would actually 
you know, oh, 35 seconds. Well, okay. Let's finish with Chrome. I can tell you in advance that this takes a long time and we're not going to watch it all. I don't even think it gets to the ready button. Ca can your browser... There we go. Huh? No? This is maybe faster than Firefox. I spoke too soon. Ah, well, there you go. You beat Firefox. And finally, we're going to end... Oh, where am I going? I'm going down here. And finally, I'm going to end with the Galactic Benchmark, which is the one that I'm pretty sure Microsoft knows is Internet Explorer's forte. This is some big... It's in JavaScript, not WebGL. And it's some kind of rudimentary 3D animation designed as a benchmark. If you can't see the FPS, IE9 has about 43. Firefox has about 12. And Chrome has about 25. You can see the scores here. They're meant to be representative of the FPSs. I think we can change the view here. Maybe it will be different. Oh, Firefox is still well behind in this one. So, I think we have IE... I think IE won two of them. Chrome won two of them. And Firefox won one of them. So I guess the victor is still inconclusive. Um, I don't think we'll see any speed-ups from Firefox 4 before the release. Uh, I'm sure uh, Google are working very hard on making Chrome 9 as fast as IE 9. And I'm not sure if we'll see any more speed-ups from IE... Uh, from Microsoft, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, uh, that's the three-way browser shootout for November. Maybe I'll be back in December with an update.